Here are some inspirational stories from today's news. Today is February 26th, 2021. I'm gonna start with this one here. This looks like a fascinating movie and I hope they have a book too. It's called The Night of the Kings and it's about a teenager who ends up in a penal colony, punishment place, like a prison for kids. And then their, their big thing is telling stories. So all the prisoners, I guess, tell these crazy wild stories and then they end up acting them out. So that sounds really cool. This is a, a billionaire's Malibu beach house. That looks fun. This is a movie with Anthony Hopkins, master actor, about um, Alzheimer's and dementia and his relationship with his daughter. And he talk, they talk about how his mastery in acting where his, uh, let's see, he's so powerful when he wants to be that he chooses to make Coiled self-containment, his default mode. So starting from there, that, that coiled status sounds fascinating. A movie about the life of Billie Holiday. Always like that. This is a fascinating story about nine skilled hikers in 1959 who, for some reason, left their tent and then they ended up dying. But it's a big mystery. Could a Yeti have killed them? The Soviet government? An avalanche? Sounds interesting. Next we have a story written by Myra Wilson, who was an actress in Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire. And she talks about being, you know, a, a child celebrity and all the trials and tribulations. And she talks a lot about Britney Spears and her struggles with that. And that's fascinating to me. This is a memoir, which um, it's about being, being abused by your parent but uh, it seems to be written in a very clean way. So I'm gonna check that out. I like well-written memoirs, regardless of their content. This is a fellow who, uh, this, oh, this is interesting, talks about having a video, creating, creating like a video of your life instead of an obituary. So an obituary video of your life. And that's fascinating. This is a podcast episode I wanna check out about toxic culture. Talking about Clubhouse, and there was one, yeah, there's one group called, uh, a room called uh, Cotton Club, which you have to change your avatar avatar to black and white portrait, and then you, uh, it's like a 1920s style speakeasy with uh, jazz music in the background. So that's pretty cool, creating a soundscape like that. This is a woman who, uh, Love children. She was. Uh, she kind of formed the first um, Head Start program for kids, disadvantaged kids, and she just talks about how even when she was uh, retired and older, elderly, that she would often sit and just watch children play, which I think is really fascinating. That children's play is is one of the great creative focuses that you can have. This is saying how art is now embracing like comfort and calm during these difficult times. Themes like breath, joy, and care, like that positivity brought by art. And this is talking about a parental crisis with loneliness given these times. And we've got some book recommendations. Talking to Goats about uh, famous athletes. Abe Lincoln's Mentors. I like things about leadership. Conflicted, how productive disagreements lead to better outcomes. Skip the line. And this claims to bust the 10,000 hour rule for achieving mastery. And talks about mindset for achieving personal and professional goals. Like that. Own the Arena. Written by a black woman who was in leadership at the US Open and how she had to use all of her leadership skills. The New Normal, ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent. This is called, this is termed to be an essential toolkit for finding resilience, like that. Quantum Marketing, Mastering the New Marketing Mindset of Tomorrow's Consumers. Flex, Reinventing Work for a Smarter, Happier Life. And My Dark Vanessa, which is Described as being brilliant and stunning, truth rattling, 
humane in its clarity and chilling in its resonance, an absolute must-read. Hmm. So these are the inspirational stories of today. Let me know if any of them resonated with you. And follow my podcast and blog at allthehatsbewear.com where you'll start to see some of these stories come out. Bye-bye.